Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm teacher Emmy, and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. Now let's start our discussion on page 275. Okay, so on this page, we're already on lesson number 84. And our topic is using scheming to predict content. Okay? Using scheming to predict content. Now let's go to the teacher's language. Okay, the first one, let's read. Read the first paragraph. Next, then read the first sentence of each of the other paragraphs. After you've finished, look up at me. Let's guess the main idea. Write your guess in Korean or English. Let's see what you guessed. And the last one, was your guess close to the main idea? Okay, so those are the teacher's language. Now let's read the dialogue part here below. So we will have an idea what those uh, sentences are talking about. So the dialogue starts with the teacher saying, uh, let's read. Many students say that reading in English is really hard. I remember that when I was in school, reading in English was really hard for me too. Do you also feel that way? And then the student said, yes, teacher. Okay, here's what you'll do. Read the first paragraph. Then, read the first sentence of each of the other paragraphs. Just the first sentence. Okay, so what are we going to do? And then a student repeats the directions. Okay, let's start. After you've finished, look up at me. After the students read, Alright, let's close our books. Now, let's guess the main idea. Write your guess in Korean or English. After a few minutes, okay, it looks like everyone is finished. Let's see what you guessed. Subin. And then Subin responds. Teacher, that's interesting. How about you, Minju? Then Minju responds. Teacher, after eliciting more responses, now, let's go ahead and read the whole text. The students read the text. Teacher, okay, well, was your guess close to the main idea? The students, yes. Teacher, in English or Korean? Okay, we've just learned a new reading skill. It's called scheming. It's like flying over the text like a bird to find out where the text is going. When we read a text after scheming, we can have a map of the text in our heads. Do you understand? Students? Yes. Okay, so that's the end of uh, the, the dialogue part. Now let's study the other expressions this time. The first one we have, read the first text. You could also say it like this, read paragraph 1 or read through the first paragraph. Number two, after you've finished, look up at me. When you finish, look up at me. Or, after you read it once, stop reading and look up at me. Okay? Number three we have here, let's guess the main idea. Let's try to guess what the main idea is. Or, let's see if we can guess the main idea. Number four, write your guess in Korean or English. You can write either in Korean or English. Write down your guess in either Korean or English. Okay, number five. Let's see what you guessed. Tell us what you guessed. Who'd like to tell us what his or her guess? Let's share our guesses with the class. And the last we have here, number six. Was your guess close to the main idea? How close were you to the main idea? Or did you more or less get the main idea? 
Okay, so those are the other expressions. Now here below in this box you can check out and read on the Korean translation of the dialogue part. And here is the continuation of that. And here below we have here an important note that you need to read on. Okay? Do you understand? Limitations of asking, do you understand? Okay, we have here, do you understand? Or are there any questions? So you can read this part. All right, now on to the next page. Here is uh, the continuation of that. Very important note that you need to read on. So that will be all for this lesson. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm Teacher Emmy. See you in our next video lesson. Goodbye.